Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna go through some of the best settings for Warzone for console specifically. I'm gonna start with my controller setting. I'm using default flip uh, for a very long time now. They have a lot of other options. It really depends on the personal preference. Uh, I've seen a lot of people using bumper and jumper as well. Please try it out. For the dead zone, uh, my controller is a little bit old, uh, so I went to the practice mode and I, I saw like what are the values which works well for me. If your controller is new, you don't have to change anything here, just leave it as it is. For sensitivity, I'm using 1010. This really depends on personal preference. I was using 14 and it didn't work out for me, so I switched back to 10 and so far it's good for me. By default, ADS sensitivity multiplier is gonna be enabled. Uh, I highly recommend you guys use custom sensitivity per zoom. Uh, this is gonna give you tons of options. You can adjust the sensitivity according to uh, the zoom you are using. It's very helpful for me. These values are working very well. So I will suggest you to try it out as well. Aim response curve type. A lot of players uh, I have seen they are using uh, dynamic instead of standard and they said that it works really well. So I'm using it as well. Controller vibration, I always keep it disabled because it's a distraction for me. Uh, gas mask toggle, they introduced this in season five. It's very helpful if you, by default, it's gonna be disabled. So your operator is gonna take out the mask uh, automatically. But if you keep this enabled, this is gonna be a priority option and you can uh, toggle the mask manually by pressing the button. So it's very helpful guys. Uh, I don't know what took them so long to introduce this, but I'm glad that it's here. Aim assist, I'm using standard. For use reload behavior, by default, it's going to be type to reload. It's going to make your movement a lot slower because you every time you have to open the door or open the boxes, you have to uh, you have to keep holding the square button in order for you to interact. Contextual tap uh, is going to open everything really fast. If you but for the reload, you have to kind of hold your square button to reload. But uh, trust me, guys, it's you're going to get used to of it really fast, and it helps a lot. For armor plate behavior, by default, it's going to be apply one. I use apply all. It helps me when I'm in the fight. If I have to uh, put some armor on, I can run easily. While running, I can put on the armors. I don't have to keep pressing my triangle button. So I will, I will suggest you guys to give this option a try. For slide behavior, by default, it's gonna be hold. Please change it to tap. It's gonna help you to do the slide cancel. If you're keeping this on the hold, you're always gonna face the glitch while doing the slide cancel. Auto move forward is disabled for me. This tactical sprint is for multiplayer, if I'm not mistaken. Automatic sprint, by default, it's gonna be disabled. Guys, this is very, very helpful. It's gonna improve your movement a lot. Uh, it's You don't have to press on the analog button for a tactical sprint. This is completely automatic. Every time you move your analog forward, your, uh, your operator is gonna run. Uh, regarding the parachute auto deploy, I always keep it disabled because uh, the automatic one to some distant it opens automatically and it's not very helpful if you are jumping in an enemy's fights or something like that so i will highly recommend to disable this guys now we're gonna start with the graphic setting camera movement always keep it on the 50 percent is going to give you more visibility disable all those blur options it is not helpful at all guys uh, even the gore you don't want anything extra which is going to affect uh, your visibility so i always keep it disabled all of them for interface i've seen a lot of people are using circle guys change this right away because you can see you can compare both of these images on the right side and cel circle obviously has less visibility and square gives you more visibility in the map so change this right away guys this is very important uh, close by station on purchase i always keep it enabled so as soon as you do your purchase the options is going to close by itself it gives you time if enemy is shooting at you you can run right away this is the new feature they added in 
uh, season five. So in in the beginning of season four, I don't know why they removed it, but for example, in the pre-game, you choose your fifth loadout, uh, but when you are inside the game and you call out your loadout, it will go back to the first. Now you have an option whether you want to enable this or disable this. I always keep it disabled. Now we're going to jump into the audio settings. For the audio, I highly recommend to use boost low or boost high. It really depends on your headphones as well, guys. I've seen some people using home theater. This is really good as well. I tried, but for me, boost low works really well. I'm using Steel Series Arctis 7P Plus, uh, and uh, these master volume. It really depends on how loud your headphone is. For me, 45 works well, but you can check it out. Music, I would recommend that keep it lower down so you can easily listen to the dialogue and effect. This effect is very important, guys. All the footsteps, uh, it's coming from the effect volume. You please make sure to keep this on 100%. Uh, you can lower it down if you can hear the steps properly, but I have, for me, this works really well, so I always keep it on uh, 100%. Uh, rest of the options, they are not really important, like hit marker. I tried different, but to be honest, like it's just a personal preference, so whatever suits you well. That's it for the setting, guys. If you like and if you want me to create more videos like this, please leave a comment. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.